<laughs> they didn't come to play. <laughs> now that I'm in the industry. Yes, I have a lot of experience. I would say you're right. You were right. My 18-year-old self was right when I thought that I don't have to be naked to do music and I'm in the industry to sing because I know that I can sing already, you know, and, and, and sex doesn't make me great. Music, the music that I create does and the love that I have for people. So I was right. Um, and I would tell my 18-year-old self, girl, you have time. You have time. Learn as much as you can and know that time is expensive. Respect it. You know, I wish that I respected time a lot more when I was 18, you know. But then I don't regret anything in, in, that I've experienced. I don't I, I regret anything that I've been through. I think everything is just how it was supposed to be for me to be who I am and where I am today. My name is from Saudi So, you're a Kenyan Yes, I got it from the governor. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever thought of relocating to Many times. Many times over. Um, it's been a discussion, and it still is. And it still is a possibility. So, I'll see. I, it's, you know, I would want to be in a couple of places. Like, I, I also would like to um, uh, have a home in, in, in England because I love the way the weather changes. <laughs> and the mixture of the people is so huge, you know. Like, when you go to, to, to England, there's everybody. There's Indian, Jamaican, um, uh, Kenyan, people from Ghana everywhere all over the world and they're all in that one pot you know that's why i love it so much and yeah kenya so today i had um uh fuf, was it fuf? Ugali. Ugali. <laughs> Ugali. and i love the way they cook the meat up i know i'm not supposed to eat like red meat and i don't eat it a lot but I love the way they cook the meat up. So every time she I come here, I always... <laughs> no, but the, the last time when I came here, I yeah. had the same thing. But this was better. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. And so um, I don't have a favorite dish. I just love everything that you guys cook. That's it. Honestly, there's nothing that I... I, I haven't had one thing that I can say, oh, I don't like this. I like everything. <laughs> uh... Hi, my name is Kido. I work for SP Bus. My okay. question is what uh, your album cover name is a Swahili name. Maybe you can share with us why did you have to do a Swahili name than any other name? And then my second question is that in a scale of one to ten, <laughs> can you rate your journey, your success, your achievement of music career? Oh wow. Well, <laughs> I always say when when I ask when someone asks me anything you know, related to that second question. I always say I'm not done yet. There's so much more for me to accomplish. And I feel like though I'm this far, that I have not accomplished every, like a lot yet. I still feel like I'm not there yet, you know? Um, and so on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say 10 because I, I, I know the work that I put in. But I know I'm not there yet, you know? I still have so much to go. Um, and why I chose Pamoja. Before um, I created the album, the whole idea was to think of a way to unite families and people and, and, and us, you know? And the idea was also to collaborate with a lot of African artists or different African artists, you know? And what better way to say together than Pamoja? Yeah. And also, so that you should be here for a concert. Please <laughs> <laughs> <Excuse> note. <laughs> Um, in life in general, you mean? Hmm. Time. 
I'm, I back, I'm back to it again because a lot of us, we will, I remember one day I was sitting home and I kept scrolling up and down for hours and I passed like four hours on social media, four hours. And I said, wait a minute, did I just use four hours of my time that I don't know when, because we never know when it's our time to leave, right? Because we're not here forever. And I said, I never know when it's going to be my time to leave. And I just spent four hours of my expensive time <laughs> on social media for four hours. I said, nope, I'm going to college. And I registered for college that day again. And I made my plans of everything that I want to accomplish. And I, you know, write them down. I made a list. And each time I accomplish each one, I cross it off. It's not a bucket list. It's actually writing my story, completing the book, making the right decisions, yes, and executing that action plan he just said. We all have to have one. And nothing is impossible. And so for everyone, um, whether you're just starting or whether you're just realizing or you had that aha moment, like, oh, my God, yes, this is what I need to do. Nothing is impossible. Absolutely nothing. If you think it's possible, then it is. The only time it becomes impossible is when you believe it is not. And so time is expensive and use it wisely. Use it as if you have, you know, worked, the, work your fingers literally to the bone to get it. And now that you have it, what will you do with it? It's expensive. Make people respect time, your time. Respect other people's time because you just never know. But what you accomplish when you leave is important. If not even for you, not for the world, but for your next generation. For the people who knew you, how you made them feel, what you accomplished to say, oh, she did it, maybe I can do it too. You know? That's what I would say to someone, whether you're starting, you're young, or no matter where you are in your life, time is expensive. Use it wisely. Uh, Etana, uh, allow me to ask this. Um, you have fans and loves who follow your music yes. journey here in Kenya, but what would you maybe tell them? Can Etana comment on a family? family life, can you comment on it because um, years back we, you know, we fall every time. Please comment on this if um, you're okay with it. Comment on my family life? Yeah, you Well, I, I, I don't talk about like my, my family a lot in, in, in publicly because I try to reserve a piece of me for me and, and my family, you know? So I don't like putting them, my kids on social media and all of this stuff because I feel like that's for me. But um, I, I, I have a husband. I have three girl, two girls and a son. But my son, I had my son when I was a young girl. And so right now my babies are five and eight. And um, yeah, I'm very private with my, my family life. It, it's not perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. No family is perfect. Oh, we fight. We do everything. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we remember our goals. We remember why we got together, my other half and I. We remember why we got together in the first place, what we mean to accomplish, and we refocus on just that, and we move on. So my goal in my life, my goals in my life is not, I don't live just for myself. I never have. I live for my children, and I live to make other people feel great and accomplish and feel good about themselves and life and everything. That's my, I feel like that's my duty. My duty is to carry people through, spiritually, physically, mentally. That's my duty, and I'm happy to do it, you know? So I never live for myself. I just don't. And that's my life. <laughs> <laughs>